Well, hey, Camp Airwood families, it's Mr. Seth. And today I have to deliver some really sad and difficult news about camp for the summer. You see, yesterday my plan was to come into the office and to meet with Nathan and Ethan and to finalize our camper t-shirts. We're gonna work on activity schedules and staff training, but instead the day was spent praying, seeking wisdom, then ultimately we made the extremely difficult decision to cancel our overnight camps this summer. It's shocking to me to be making this video. I'm sure it's shocking to you too. And all the way along this journey, right, we've been praying for a way forward and we've kept a very close eye on the CDC and the ACA and the state of Tennessee guidelines. And our prayer has been that if we're able to run camp safely, then we will do whatever it takes to make it happen. And so the guidelines were gonna make camp look a, a little different and maybe some of those were a little difficult, but we felt we could do them and we're committed to getting you here this summer. So you may be asking, hey, we've heard nothing but good news over the past couple of weeks. Like, why are we changing our minds now? Well, you see, Sunday night, there was a lot of bad news. Um, numbers are spiking in Sevier County. That's one thing we said we were keeping our eye on. Um, we thought our assistant director, Maria, would be returning to us on Tuesday, but she is now stuck in Germany for the remainder of the summer. Then also three of the four remaining camps that were operating have all canceled their overnight camp programs over the weekend. And in fact, one camp in Nashville during staff training um, had a breakout and had 32 staff members test positive. Um, and now their, their camp director, Fred Reyes, is fighting for his life on a ventilator. And so um, I do ask that you would join the camp community in praying for his healing. And parents, still, we we do feel strongly and confident that COVID-19 does not affect campers or, or pose a major risk to them. But we don't want to be spreaders and propagators of the virus to those we love, people like your grandparents and others who um, this infection might really hurt. So with these recent Sunday night developments and still a level of uncertainty, the wisest decision for us was to cancel camp. And uh, to the campers, look, I know that you have been working really, really hard and you are so excited about coming to camp this summer. I've heard stories and seen pictures of you all pulling weeds and working for neighbors and selling donuts at your dad's office and all sorts of things that you've done because camp is such a special place to you. I know that for many of you, um, you're like me and other staff and camp is your happy place where you make new friends, you learn to do hard and challenging things like archery and the climbing wall. Um, and most importantly for a lot of you, camp is the place where you are most encouraged to love Jesus. And so I'm really sad that overnight camp won't happen and I'm sure you're sad. And I want you to know that even though we aren't having overnight camp, we'll be praying for you to grow in the Lord this summer. So what now, you may be asking. Didn't you mention day camp as an option a few months ago? Well, until, until today, we've been absolutely laser focused on our mini camp programs. And so yes, we like the idea of offering one day 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. camp experiences near the end of July. But you'll maybe hear from us later about that. Um, for now, uh, you know, camp is, overnight camp is canceled. And for those of you who have paid, Right. Please fill out our refund form in the next two weeks. It'll be found in our COVID-19 section of our webpage. If we don't hear from you in the next two weeks, we'll, we'll write you a check. And lastly, to families, just thank you. Thank you for trusting us with your campers. Thank you for hanging in there with us and for all of your encouragement to our team. Um, we've trusted God through this process. We've prayed, we've sought guidance and advice, but wisdom in the end steered us to this hard decision. And so, on behalf of all the Camp Arrowwood staff, we're sad with you, we love you, we're praying for you, and we hope to see you at some point. God bless you all.